Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regular scheduled meeting of the Board of Selectmen and the Town of Sunderland. Um, it's April 22nd, Monday, regularly scheduled. Call to order at uh, 6.37. A um, couple things on Friday evening, starting 6.30? Seven. For town meeting. Our annual town meeting. So I would, uh, it's the, I would come early, stay late. Oh, I, don't, I would hope <laughs> it doesn't have to be that late this year. Um, but in town <laughs> yes. at the, uh, the town, at the uh, town meeting will be at the Sunderland Elementary School. And I hope that you uh, make a little time available to come and participate it is a uh, form of government some call arcane um but back when it first started uh you had to show up or the constables came and got you and they brought you there yes ma'am i just wanted to add the pto is providing free babysitting until 9 p.m during the meeting in case anybody oh. watching could use that nice perfect children and you have to leave at nine <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So there will be babysitting from the, the PTO if you wanted to uh, to come. The hardest the hardest thing I think we have is trying to get um, generate interest for people to come. Fair. We keep reminding people, and it's kind of funny for us that sit on the uh, board uh, when we go out into. Uh, in our real life, we usually get yelled at about the budget um, and say, well, you have to understand that what we recommend and what we bring forward is not always what's getting voted on at town meeting. And town meeting has, I mean, we make suggestions. The town clerk will tell you that the select board is nothing more than decorations at the town meeting. It's really the moderator and the town clerk. We need those two people to make it happen. We're, we're just... Um, side participants and it's really the people that are residents of the town that really what make town meeting work so I, I do hope that you do come out and do participate in, in the conversation we had we had a um, member of our personnel committee that made a comment um, last week about the tax rate and he said well he had never known the tax rate was so low compared to the rest of the Franklin County. And it's like, well, we've been saying that for a long time. He said, well, I've yeah. never heard it. Yeah. And it's like, um, you would hear it if you go to town meeting. Um, I don't, we think we're one of the top three or four shows on TV, especially Monday nights, but uh, we never get ratings, so we don't know. He was probably busy surfing Instagram while we it were It seems like the, everybody watches, yeah. but boy, boy, I'll tell you, they, they know what we say, but. Um, anyway, so Friday evening, 6.30, Sunderland Elementary School, come on down. Um, the warrants are posted. You can get them online, or you can just, um, go to local seven. places. It's at 7? Seven? 7. It's at 7? <clears throat> 7. You used to do 6.30 for the, our, for the special. Yeah. 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 6.30 when we had the temporary liquor licenses approved and we have yeah the, the yes bar. exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 6 30 to 7. i like your style <laughs> okay so advanced tickets go on sale um tomorrow right. at noon so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're going to uh do a couple of really quick things the minutes of 4 11 and 4 16. <clears throat> i'll entertain motions uh motion on those i'll uh, second we have a motion made on acceptance as presented minutes 411 and 416. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 We have 3 0 on that, Sherry. So, after all these years, I still want to say Margaret. I know. <laughs> and, and before that, Dana. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and before that, Jim Henry. And Jim Henry. I know. He was a standby, though. It's okay. I know. Before that, Tom Goodman. Yeah. No, Deb Doty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was Deb Doty. Yeah. Yep. Um, Bruce, before and before Deb Doty was 
Richard Thorne. Wendy Fox. Oh, Wendy Fox, man, that's right, Wendy. Yep. And she just retired in Deerfield. I know she did. I know she did. Anyway, okay. So we have minutes. Um, review annual town meeting motions and budget recommendations. Elliot, you want to uh, start with uh, your budget hey, Mr. recommendations? Yeah, I've been authorized by the Finance Committee to present our votes. Uh, we are voting uh, in recommendation of almost all of the articles that we have uh, questions before us. There's two questions that are uh, worth specific note. Article 3, the main budget, we've approved. Uh, Article 2, I'm sorry, uh, salaries, approved 5-0. Okay. Article 3, the main budget, we recommend 5 -0. Article 4, this is one of the questions uh, we voted not to recommend. We voted 0 to 5, uh, along with the selectman's recommendation, hoping that this will be. So, so Elliot, yeah. if you could interrupt you one second. So, so Scott and David, I'm thinking that for right now we pass pass over that article as a mechanic for a town meeting. Huh? As at the mechanics for, for town, town meeting. meeting. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I think that's an yeah. appropriate strategy. And, and I, th I think no matter what happens with the override vote, we'll, we'd come back and revisit this Correct. this article. And that was along with our line of thinking. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we, we're we're. So, so Sherry, could you make sure mm -hmm. in our motions that we uh, look at passing this over? All right, what you got next? Article 5, 5 0. Moving to capital stabilization. Came out of the 027. Okay. Article 6. six. six. Okay. Also. Transfers from capital civilization. We recommend 5 0. Article, <clears throat> Article 7, town infrastructure. We recommend 5 0. Article 8, doesn't require our, our attention. Article 9, the community preservation funds, uh, revenues, and internal budget recommend 5 0. Article 10, the spending limits for specific town, uh, town revolving funds. Officer, officers, uh, 5 -0, recommend. Article 11, paying uh, for moving free cash to cover for snow and ice deficit, we recommend 5 and 0. We like having roads to drive on that are not yeah. slippery. Yeah, yeah, Elliot, if I could just, um, and, and we haven't talked about this um, in our meeting, but it wasn't unusual seven, eight years ago that that number would be $100,000. Right. So, Jeez. yeah, we, it, it, was, it was not unusual for us to have numbers of uh, 100, $110,000, $120,000 for use. And, and, and over the, and what we have done over the years, and sometimes going back to history is, is important, is that we kind of increased, we increased the, uh, mm -hmm. th those line items. And it also is um, the way, and we, we came up, and you talk about policies, but we actually developed a policy for snow removal also. Um, and, and that helps, that helped. And also the way George deploys his people is another thing. So, but that wasn't unusual. Every year we were looking at $100,000 to do that. Thank you, uh, Elliot. Uh, then we would like to thank you for your work in uh, 
Uh, it, I'm, I'm, it, 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 it was, but well, that was a very common thing, and I mean, it, it helps. It helps not having to do that because yeah, that was it was every chunk. year where it was like a hundred thousand dollars off from free cash or stabilization every year. So, uh, well, given the discussions that we've had over this budget, I right. cannot imagine trying to do it with one hundred and four thousand dollars of snow and ice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for Article Twelve. Uh, for the one-off retirement support, mm -hmm. we approve, uh, recommend 5-0. Very good, Mr. Chair. So, Elliot, one of the nice pieces about that, nice pieces. So there was a couple of years ago where there was a group of elementary school teachers, and by putting that in the warrant article, mm -hmm. as a warrant article, that flushes uh, that one-time cost out of uh, uh, recurring appropriation. You know, it helps with respect to the school, it helps with respect to the town, you know, oh, okay, got it. It's a retirement function for whatever, how many uh, units there are, buy them out of, you have free cash available, and it doesn't get lost in the noise of the next appropriation. Exactly. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, for Article 13, approving the uh, money to support the Frontier Regional uh, school committees capital their capital funds requests uh, we recommend 50 no. 1 million eight twenty six six sixty four to to approve borrowing mm -hmm. this is a borrowing question <clears throat> yeah and that and, that, and that structure is the way that this is structured is only um, allowing to borrow yep. it affords the school committee the opportunity to go ahead and whatever the best mechanism is, and we'll see that over a decade in the form of assessments. Article 14 is uh, where we have our loan descent uh, move the, the, the question of modifying the language as far as tag sales. Um, you, the board pointed out that this actually really isn't a question for us, but uh, our vote of recommendation, because there was a line item for it, was 4-1. And then the next question, Article 17, was the next question that had a line item for the Finance Committee to recommend, but uh, which we elected to abstain from recommending because there were uh, were not any, not appear to be any finance, yeah. uh, finance uh, questions. In, in mm -hmm. Yeah, and nothing this. fiscal. Yeah. Yeah. And then the final article that required our rule, perhaps, no, second to last, uh, Article 20, the purchase eminent domain for uh, the North Main Street reconstruction project. Oh, we recommend 5 mm -hmm. Okay. And then for the consent articles, there was some question whether we would like to completely hamstring the town this year, but we decided ultimately to vote and recommend <laughs> right. 5 -0. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Article 14 got you on the debate. Too, too tied up on that <laughs> one, right? So. Your cats. So Scott and David, are there any articles that you want to uh, do? Did you on the warrant here that you'd like to revisit or comment upon? No, all the numbers for Article Three line up, and the remaining elements are pretty straightforward. The only comment I would make, Mr. Chair, is that under a citizen's petition for changing the name of the board, they should have been more creative and chose names like Board of Awesome or something <laughs> like that. Right? If you're going to be non-generic, non-specific, and feel you're representing everybody, then it should be by action as well, opposed to if, if you'd like that, you can make you can make that. Uh, you can do floor. it on the floor. And and just just, make, sure, just make sure that you write it out and give it to the, yeah, to the, the town, town clerk because she won't accept it unless it's written. So think something about, that'll you know think about that getting us in the news. Can I do the that. board of awesome? Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could be a lot worse. Here's the first. Yeah, to maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe we don't want to go down that road. You never know what could get voted in. You know. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it.
Uh, David, you okay? No, I think I'm good. We discuss it a lot, and we'll get a lot more discussion coming in up <laughs> yeah. on Friday. So, yep. If the board has no other, you know, I, 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 um, I, I would like to comment upon upon the votes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, sometimes people like to see um, a division up, upon the vote. You know, three to two, or uh, three to one, right. or and 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 I would say. What, what we have worked on over the years um, is that we have a lot of conversation, we put a lot of input, and, and usually the articles that, are, that come before town meeting have been, have been worked on for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so there, it's usually um, both sides of the, the discussion have made changes and, and, and to, to allow it to be palatable. So. Um, I, sometimes, like, and people are concerned when they see unanimous, you know, un unanimous down the thing. I just think, in in this case, it's just a reflection about of all the hard work that went into putting things together. Um, and, and again, we're, we start October, November, so we we've been thinking on, on this for six six months yeah. already. So. Um, I would just thank you, Elliot, and, and your committee, um, and Sherry, for all the conversation that's gone back and forth between to help everybody get on the same page. Thank you. So if, if, if you take that concept, Mr. Chair, if I could, and you roll that up to town meeting, which is the legislative body of the community of Sunderland, we're, we're presenting the draft legislation. Pretty it much. should be pretty damn clear. Mm -hmm. Right. When all is said right. and done, the legislative body is town meeting. It is. It is. And, and I, I think we sh we sh we should we should be comfortable what we're with what we're. I don't know if comfortable is the right way, but but the decision to come to that point, you know, mm -hmm. we're getting at this point right now. We all should be on the on the same page, and and again, understanding that a lot of things may compromises have been made to get there. Sure. So good point. All right, so we do have the budget that this is going to be handed Open out. Everything up online tomorrow. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Article 17. I realize that Jessica and I were the ones who first brought it, suggested moving forward or taking steps for the name change. Mm -hmm. Are you anticipating or expecting that we'll speak at the beginning of the presentation of the article, or how, how do you expect that to go? He's right there. It's his meeting. Yep. So it's a mod it's a moderator's yeah, meeting. True. The selectman <laughs> sponsored article. So he, he the the, moder the moderator. I'd be in here, but I'm waiting for the building inspector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep it loose. Got to keep it agile. Yeah. He the the moderate. You, you know. Sunderland's had a pretty long history of, of allowing conversations to come from the floor, and, and it's usually pretty well. Um, we we as 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 members of the board, we we talk to other communities, and and some moderators will have it'll be a to have a moderator, and they'll have somebody sit down with with flashcards, you know. 15, you know, 30 seconds, 15, when they hit zero, you have to stop talking. Ding. Tip, typically, we don't do that. Right. I, I, you know, we have a new moderator. We'll see how he, how he runs things. Um, <laughs> it's Friday. I don't know what game is going to be on TV, so he may want to get home early. I don't know. I, I saw him packing a questions. red buzzer but earlier, we, one of the big we would, ones. We would, yeah. hope, we would hope that there would be a, a good discussion in, in particular on the budget. I, I think that that would help. Bruce? I'd just like to add that I think a lot of the people at the town meeting don't <clears throat> understand how the town meeting operates. That's fair. And any, any citizen, as long as he's recognized the moderator, can stand up and make a motion to amend any budget article they want. They can amend any article they want on, that's, that's, that's on the warrant. And with, within reason of the within the realm of what the motion is. So I mean, actually, it, as Tom has stated, the town meeting is the legislative body, and that's where the discussion should take place. 
And it's, it's not up to the selectmen, but it's up to the legislative body to amend articles, to change articles, and to actually vote on the articles. And the moderator is basically there to recognize the people, keep the meeting in order, and things like that. Um, and there's a lot of terminology at the town meeting that's used, like if someone stands up and say, what is it, move the motion, call, it? call a motion, call, call the order, right. all discussion stops. And, and then you have to vote on the article. So I mean, it, 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 you, you can the, the legislate the, the legislative body to me runs the town meeting and gets involved in it and, and that's the way I feel it should be so don't be afraid don't anybody be afraid to stand up and say something people don't like it there they'll moan and groan and then you move on so you know I think you're just you wondering if you have actually, to speak on it yeah yeah, we have to our, yeah. Our, our, yeah. Our, our, our our town meeting um it, it's not run by Robert's rules. It's run by what they call town meeting time. It was in, uh, it was out, actually, the library probably should have a copy because we bought one for the library to be, so unless somebody's taken it out, um, there should be a copy. We have, but it, it defines just what Bruce said. I mean, at one time, um, th there's a, it's not, it's not Robert's, but it's similar, so they have different things. We have always been, um, if someone needs help, that's if to want to talk, we usually find a way for that person to talk. So, uh, I, 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 and again, I, Bruce, Bruce said something, uh, and, I, and I like to repeat, um, is that when when we, the selectmen, town administrator, finance committee, everybody works on school committee works on a budget to bring. Um, it hasn't happened in a long time, but you could end up with a totally different budget when you left. The only thing that the moderator and the town clerk would say is that when it's all done, we, we by law, we have to leave with a balanced budget. So, so if you're thinking about um, buying s or, or spending money in addition to what's in the budget, we would recommend that you at least talk to Sherry um, so that she may be able to help you on where the funding is coming from. Um, because cause you, you can make a motion to, to do $15,000, but we have to find out where that fifteen. So give us a heads up so that we can try to find that 15000 if, if that makes sense. Um, so that we do we do ask for that, um, but anybody, but Bruce is right. Anybody anybody can make make a motion, and and it, and, and and your the the select board, um, it, it's our job to then take the will of the people and go with that and follow that that direction, which we have. I mean, you know, and and we we for one have been very good about accepting the vote of the. You know, you're not going to see us coming back three times for a question. I mean, we're, 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 we're people vote and people, we always thought people's votes do matter. Okay, anything else? Good. That felt good. Yeah. All right. If you don't mind. Um, with the budget? Yeah. You want to talk, we want to talk about the, anything we need to talk about in the budget, Scott? I think just to keep people apprised the fact that we're going into this town meeting with a $200,143 deficit and a ballot question. So the process is, if it doesn't pass, we come back and look for $200,143. Right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you guys for all your hard work. Very much appreciated. Same goes for all of you. So, so right right now on on the bottom we have a uh, estimated revenues and the, the recaps and everything. We we have a uh, we have a line typically that that has to be black. Right now it's red. Not so black right now. And it's red by two hundred two hundred thousand one hundred and forty three dollars, and we do have a two hundred thousand dollar override question on, on the doctor. Correct. 
while we're talking about that, Mr. Chair. Sure. So the town's tax rate in 1999 was sixteen dollars a thousand. What was it? In 1999, it was sixteen dollars a thousand. It's not been at sixteen dollars a thousand since nineteen ninety nine, and with our current proposal, the tax rate would be fifteen dollars and thirty three cents. That's over a twenty year period. Yeah, it's been up and down. It's been up and down again. Debt, debt exclusion, not debt exclusion. It's been down as low as twelve ten, and you know we're we're in the fifteen dollar range right now. Yeah, I think the assessor um, projected a 55 cent increase Correct. at yep. this budget. So that might put us over, but might bump us up one slot in the where we rank in the county in the bordering towns. Yeah, we're currently so. we're currently number four. Well, we're in the bottom four. Yeah. So again, as we talk about up. rate, it's important to bear in mind property valuations, what they are, the types of properties that we have, but total burden is different than rate. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a discussion it but is. the discussion in and around rate I think is important to have out there and that would I would suggest that over the last 20 years a uh, combination of uh, some stability in property values as well as uh, stability in budgeting has kept our rate in a very short window of basically one dollar yeah and the town that it would bump us up against it might bump us up over the rate but they still have like you were saying two other assessments Correct. or whatever so that's not just even a total. Uh, again, FYI about taxes. So, um, if if I could, um, last week I had an opportunity um, to talk and to um, listen the the Senate and House. Joint Committee on Education Chairs were in Northampton. Um, and we, Town of Sundown, um, was invited by our state rep, Natalie Blay, to attend. And I think there was 40, 40 people in the um, later group of, from Western Mass and it was an interesting discussion about um, education and funding of education and both chairs uh, of the Joint Committee who came out from Boston um, said that and, and actually State Senator uh, Comerford mentioned that this is they have a generational chance at the present time to alter the way school funding um, is handled um, and and so they're going out and they're talking they're talking to um, the people you know a lot of different people about what concerns people have there there was a number of people from Pelham and, and Shutesbury um, and other towns, hill towns, that are closing in on the twenty-five dollars a thousand mm -hmm. um, maximum tax rate that is um, specified in the Prop Two and a Half, mm -hmm. and and they were wondering what would they do if that number, if they reached that number. Sunderland is not close to that number. We have um, neighbors that are, but a lot, a lot, um, not not just a few. A lot of our neighbors are, and they're severely concerned mm -hmm. about what happens when they get there. Um, so th th it was a, it was, a, it, was a, it was an inter it was a again, I I applaud the chairs um, of the joint committee on education for taking the time to come out and talk to to us to listen to what we had to say um i i think that's i think that's and i and i know that our concerns in in western mass 
are not necessarily shared by those in, in the eastern part of the state as well. Um, and and I, I would say that they talked about charter schools. Um, they talked about transportation. Um, and they talked about how, how education is funded. And I and, and the bang around the foundation formula and the gap between oh, the rich and, oh, rich and small towns. You, you know, it, it was interesting, Scott. Thank you. Um, it was interested because they. I'll take the uh, the chair the the chair Senator Rich from, or Lewis mm -hmm. from Malden, I think Malden. Yeah. He he was explaining the foundation budget, mm -hmm. and there was Peter from Conway who. Said, look, you can say everything you want about foundation budget, but we had two people move into town that that ha have a pretty good salary, and guess guess what happened to their e EQV? Done. Yeah. And and then they started talking about what happened to Conway's yeah. budget. It was one person in Heath a number of years ago. One person. Remember, yeah, Tom Lively would tell one us about person. one person. Right. But what happened to to Conway because one or two people moved into their town mm -hmm. and and they looked at that EQV and the EQV it, it went and it, I think they said like Frontier's budget went up four hundred thousand dollars and and Conway has to come up with like two hundred thousand mm -hmm. I think that's what you're saying Something like that. I was paying attention and 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 I I just I did and, and it, now now Sunderland has seen that happen to us before sure um, when Mike Wisman moved into town, our, our yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ag, 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 agribusiness, you know, um, but 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 it just by one person moving in or one person moving out, what it can do. Sure. So there it was an interesting discussion about in, in about foundation budget. Sure. And and it's interesting. Massachusetts still has the our constitution, the Massachusetts Constitution. Mm -hmm. In the Constitution, and again, that's one of the things that you know if you sit on this board because you pay attention to stuff like this, but in it, and it's the first time I actually seen it in a presentation in a long time, that the state of Massachusetts is responsible for education and it's supposed to be done in a um, adequate and equitable fashion. And, and I think people are getting on that is like how can you be how can we be spending sixty five percent of our sixty five or seventy percent of our tax dollars um, and you know what some I don't think our children still get the same same exposure that some of the people like in Watertown may get sure so I, I it was a very interesting conversation I would say that if if not just parents. But if you're a person that's interested in education and the funding of education, and maybe because you don't want to pay tax as, as much in taxes, but now's the time to get involved. <laughs> Those people would be wholly motivated if they could. Uh, yeah, I, you, we don't, I could, don't care what your you motivation could, you is. You're right, Scott. If you could level that out and take that 18% and spread it out accordingly. 18% of Newton is a far cry of 18% of Greenfield. Plain and simple. That's just numbers. And, and you know what? That's what they were saying. And 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 not and not just and, and it's not just the town of Sunderland was saying that it was it was being said by a lot of different communities yeah, around you know Amherst and you would ever think the Amherst well Amherst you know they don't have but communities like Amherst yeah. were and were saying that and and I go back to when Claire Higgins was the mayor of Northampton and and this goes back 13 years and we were talking about. Sunderland and affordable housing, and yeah, and she, Claire, Claire was a pretty. She, I I thought she was. She had some great great ideas and, and a great great thinker. When when she said, you know, the the town, the city of Northampton, we we can we we have the resources. So mm -hmm. you know, we have transportation. We have you know, we can get people in, and we have the schools. But what the state needs to do is the state needs to help reimburse the city of Northampton. Right for some of those uh, unusual expenses. In fact, and she would say, you know, Clark's, Clark School was an, you know, was an amazing place. Well, people moved to Hatfield and Sunderland and, mm -hmm. and Northampton and West Hampton because of Clark School 
is there and they want their children. So, and, and there's, there's an expense sometimes to sure. that. And she said, well, the state needs to recognize that and try to account for that. Mm -hmm. So, and she said that 13 years ago, Stan Rosenberg in 1993 said that funding education was, was his main goal, is trying to make it equitable. And we're in 2019, and we still aren't there yet. So right. we got more work. But if you're interested, now now's the time to contact Natalie and Joe and and your legislators, and 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 because it it's happening, it's going to happen. They're working on it hard. You should and you should have a voice at the table. Sure. All right. Um, anything else on the revenue sheet, Scott? No, no, again, just to warn the public that we have a $200,143 shortfall. And we have a $200,000. We have a $200,000 override. We can probably scratch together $143. $200,143 is a whole nother ball game. Yeah. Mike, do you have any questions about that? Not yet, Tom. Um, Thank you. All right. Um, anything else on the budget side? No. Will there be sample calculations about the impact of the override on taxpayers? Last year there was a, no, Usually yeah, the average yeah. owner would see $159, yeah. and I assume since the figures are the same, it will be very close to last year's figure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have those, we'll have those yeah, for. Yeah, Teresa can calculate, I'm gonna put everything up online. Have you, you worked with Teresa in the assessor's office? Thanks. Yeah. Where, where on the website would I look for it? Uh, it'll be under annual town meeting Thanks. information. Okay, anything else nope. um, on that? David, on the budget? No, nope. I'm in right now. Um, anything else? Nope. All right. Peter, do you want to add anything? Oh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> this is public comment. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I wanted to just ask one thing, and this is just looking for, you know, the next time down the road, and that was that in our capital request, uh, there were three of them, and one was approved was for work on the outside siding that's been long and needed oh, being school, done yeah. and one we didn't really expect to, we didn't expect to be approved but it was on there just as a sort of warning <coughs> like this often done of this we're dealing with the half of the windows in the building that weren't replaced when the building was reconstructed back uh, whatever it was 15 years ago um, and then there was one that had to do with a bit of a mismatch of stuff dealing with the area around the oil tank and mm -hmm. That wasn't approved, and, and I was away, so I missed the meeting. And my question was, uh, I guess, why it wasn't approved, and if it was not approved because of a, you know, a lack of sufficient uh, explanation or something like that. I just like to make sure that, because this won't go away, that the next time round we have addressed whatever mm -hmm. uh, the committee's concerns were. And so, so if, if, if there's a short answer to what the concerns were, that would be useful to. You know, pass the word on to the school folks as to this is why it was it's sure. not being uh, recommended. So, if I could, Mr. Chair, as a member of the Capital Improvement Committee, Peter, the uh, the short answer is it wasn't recommended because of the opportunity for uh, either fuel changes or efficiency changes that have been talked about in the past by from the facilities manager. Mm -hmm. If you're going to change the boilers and the tanks are okay. We're doing basic maintenance on the tanks and the annual non-destructive testing is it's showing there's no deterioration. It's just kind of a maintenance. Okay. Then why would we spend blank and then in, in whatever, 18 to 24 months, make a wholesale change either in uh, fuel sources, boiler types or whatever. So there was, that was the line of, that was the line of questioning. And was there a... Uh, there was sufficient information with respect and was, to... And was Bob sort of made aware of this argument? Not, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. So we, that's why I'm, yeah. I'm just wanting to, you know. So our, 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 feed, our feedback was, you know, we talked about boilers in a, in, a, in a wholesale replacement, whether it's wood or gas or sequencing high efficiency only a couple of years ago. Well, if we put money in the, in the tanks right now, literally in the tanks right now, when it changes in a year or 18 or 20 months, was that money well spent? It's not like there's a problem with the tanks. The tanks are functioning and yeah. they hold oh, no, the oil. I just want to make sure yeah. that the word gets back yep. to the yep. proper people in the school Good administration point. so that it's not just sort of left hanging. Good point. Okay. Thank you. 
Anything else? All right, uh, moving on, select board updates. Uh, we have scheduled a meeting at Frontier for teacher negotiation, we hope is our final meeting. We have uh, written exchanges uh, between the final positions, and that meeting is scheduled, so the next couple of weeks. Good. Anything else, Scott? Uh, no. David? Uh, pretty much the same thing. We've got a meeting in the, on the 10th of May, I think, is our next one. So. Four. The uh, Sunderland Elementary. Oh, Sunderland. Very good. Town Administrator updates? Um, Quiet week? Yeah. <laughs> I have none. <laughs> um, I, I would just like to add, um, in the select board office, we, we received an email with some photographs today. And it's probably um, one of the nicest photos that we've received in a long time. Um, it was a photo from, uh, it included a, it was a comment about our, the river walk. It was to the uh, pathway committee. And it was a photo of a, of a great grandfather that was able to get to the river on the overlook on his motorized scooter and also watch his uh, great grandson play ball. Um, I think um, when we were talking about it last year at town meeting, that was a hope. And in right. and, and a lot of times people don't take the time to share that, but I would like to thank the person that sent that picture um, because it really it was why it was done, and it's such a great it's it's such a great photo to see him on see him on the viewing platform, which could be almost a boat dock right now for my boat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close. It might be. It's, it's getting close. It's off <laughs> close. Yeah. Um, but I, I, if if there ever was a picture that brought a smile to to my face, it was yeah. that one because that that's an amazing thing. So I'd like to thank that picture for being taken. Okay, approval of disclosure by non-elected municipal employee of financial interest and determination by appointing authority, the highway superintendent. Um, so uh, the highway superintendent has. Um, Asked for an appointment. For an appointment, his yeah. daughter has applied for the seasonal laborer position here. And in order for her to fill that position, he had to file a, this non disclosure, non disclosure, yeah. we which requires. Normal, select and we went through the start. normal process, the hiring we process, did. and it's been posted online, posted on Indeed, posted in house. Okay. All right. Motion. Uh, move to appoint Peyton Emery as a seasonal summer help for the highway department. Second. Motion made and seconded for appointment for seasonal help, highway. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Next, we have a resignation. Uh, we have a resignation for uh, Gary Breer from the Pathways Committee. From uh, Gary Breer. Um, motion? Uh, motion with regret. I think Gary's been a great addition to that whole vision of the uh, Pathways right. Committee. Okay, we have a motion uh, for Gary, acceptance of Gary Breer from the Pathway Committee. Gary, thank you very much for all, for all you've done on that it's committee. Great. great. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anything else? Um, if the board could just make a motion to approve that. Um, the disclosure? Of, yeah, okay. so it's in the record. Up, uh, and the forms downstairs for you to sign as well. So motion to approve the uh, approval or the disclosure. So uh, moved. Second. Yeah, motion made and seconded to approve the disclosure. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Anything else? So. All right. So we will recon we will be back at it Friday evening at seven PM at the elementary school on uh, Swampfield Road where we will take up the um, we will take up annual town meeting. Wasn't this the year that the new moderator had to bring dinner? Was What's that? that? Yes. This was the year the new moderator had to bring dinner. <laughs> well, actually, he could bring us a nice brisket or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got a, 
What do you think? You fire up the new smoker in the yeah, back. Great. Yeah, great. do that beforehand. Yeah, I can smoke it up yeah, for there us. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, so we hope we hope that we get to see you on uh, Friday evening to Come on at down. our town meeting. Um, we look forward to that. FCAT will be there with with all their cameras and such. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion. Uh, move to adjourn. Second. A motion made. Second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have three zero.